Um, I'm very excited about this. This is my big boss, uh, front of the stream for the channel. We love big boss here. This is an older one. Um, buckle up. I love flat earth theory because to believe in flat earth, you kind of just forego science. You forgo a lot of things, really. You so a lot of times you forget, you forgo your family relationships, actually. So I love, it's fascinating to me to learn about flat earth. Um, and buckle up. Yes, this, this phrase, this terminology is used. Uh, because a lot of these people kind of hold hands with, uh, the, the more you believe in this kind of stuff, the more ableist, the more kind of willing you are to say things to like, you know, a society is too weak. It, you'll, you'll learn that far right energy and flat earthing are like a Venn diagram, except the diagram's a circle. So buckle up for a little bit of ableism. Uh, it's going to be a, a bit of a ride. Uh, but let me go ahead and turn this actually all the way up. Let's turn, make sure the, yep, here we go. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Oh, good. <gasps> Modern science. Oh, by the way, uh, for the rest of this video, I'm officially a flat earther. I don't believe in the round earth, and um, I'm ready to agree with all the talking points. Here we go. Countless years of research. What? <laughs> tens of thousands of experiments. What are the, what, what? What? What are we doing? Hey, stop that. <laughs> all culminating in an explosion of innovation. All right, here we go. Humanity launched into a technological golden age. <laughs> Dude. Sorry, the baby the baby machines are awesome. <laughs> okay. Right. Global communication in an instant. F the Illuminati, you're wait, F the Illuminate the Illuminate from Helldivers 2, or one other. You're the reason this world is F'd up, you C word. Illuminate. Sam, we are the Illuminate. Naughty, we are uh, we are Illuminate Fridays. A branded night showcases top DJs and quality productions as a nightclub here in Atlanta. Oh, okay, sorry. Dude, I, I, I need to get a Facebook again. I need to get Facebook again. I love Facebook so much. It's the, uh, dude, it's the gold mine. It's the retirement home of social media. I love it. Live broadcasting mm -hmm. from any location. <laughs> Once unimaginable technologies. True. Now becoming a reality. And scientists worldwide are paving the way for more to come. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. The science behind this propulsion of technology has also told us that we're living in an ever-expanding universe. Not true. Not true, by the way. I saw, sorry, I saw, not true. We, nope, it's all fixed in the sky. But because, the, for the flat earth theory, all of the stars are fixed in the sky like a dome, right? It's a dome, right? Help me out here, it's a dome? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, okay. Filled with hundreds of billions of galaxies. It's, no, it's a dome. And within one of these galaxies, our solar system. We're okay. eight planets and a sort of planet, but not really. It's, it, we, it, no, I said, they believe that stars are real. No, the stars are, oh God. Okay, I'm, I remember I'm a flat earther. Um, what are the stars? The, the stars aren't stickers. They're, they're like planets, but they're not. I don't know. I forget the rules. Dude, I'm trying to be a good flat earther, chat. I've been rotating around a star for the last 4.5 billion years. Sure. And within this solar system, Planet Earth. Okay, I'm following you. Green. Beautiful. Luscious. Right. Well. Oxygen rich. For now. <laughs> most can agree on the basic details. Sure, sure, but sure. But there is a lane of discussion <gasps> that some don't dare go down. Go on. A rabbit hole that runs so deep, <gasps> you might never come back out. Okay. Is the Earth actually flat? Yeah. Good stream. Bye, everybody. I'll see you. No, the, the stars are like the sky. Just how, like, the moon creates its own light. So you're saying... Every star in the flat Earth is uh, a light. <laughs> I'm the stars with the glow, the dark stars. So you know what? I like that. Ever since the ancient Greeks began their Iris. equations more than 2,000 years ago, the overwhelming mm -hmm. consensus has slowly shifted to the viewpoint that the Earth is a sphere. Yeah. More recently, satellites around the world have managed mm -hmm. to capture images of the planet from the depths of space. Right. Further cementing a spherical Earth. Is it? I mean, have you been to space chat? Can you prove it's, what, what's the, dude, I'm trying to be a good flat earther here. I'm trying. Can you prove that it's symmetrical? Because have you been to space? Yeah. Oh shit. All right, never mind then. <laughs> There's also the mountain of mathematical and scientific Whoa! evidence. Oh, you got, I can listen, math. <laughs> Everyone was so easily convinced. Alternate theories of earth shape. <laughs> Sorry, go back. I forgot about the donut earth. The halo ring, dude. Okay, this is sick, though. 
dude, this is sick. I'm into this. I, I listen. I like Donut Earth a lot. This shit's cool. I can get behind this shit, dude. I this is yeah. This is actually possible. This is actually really cool too. I like that. I like this. This I can get behind, dude. That's also not flat. Hey, read a book or whatever. I like this. That'll be the the bottom of Earth. I think it's cool. They should be spinning super fast. That's not flat. Okay, gang. I want to hear this same. Rings of Earth shape have sprung up. Wait, wait, wait. What is that one? Wait. Can, okay. What am I looking at? What? Okay, so the Earth is an egg. And it surrounds the galaxy. That, okay, listen. Real talk. This is crazy. But the imagery is badass. Can we agree? That's concave earth theory. This is the, the, the idea is insane. But this is like, if you, if this is like a D and D campaign, like a universe that D and D, this shit is cool. Like you are the center of the universe kind of deal that, okay. Like real talk. Like it's crazy. This is insane. This is, this is an insane thing, but this is real. Like aesthetically for like a D and D sci-fi or sci-fi setting. This is a really cool idea. I really do like this. It's it's yeah, it's batshit insane. But it's also it's just a Dyson sphere. <laughs> it is though. I've sprung up left, right, and center. <laughs> Checkmate, <laughs> Globies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this one. But none of them more widespread than Flat Earth. Okay, I'm a Flat Earther. I... I don't really get... Okay, hey, what's about honey? You haven't touched your Mario steroid. <laughs> I'm trying to think here. But how does the water stay in? Is it the ice on the sides of the world? All the water fall down? No, 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 but like... I don't get... Is it a dome? Cause there's like a, I don't know. I'm trying to be a good flat earther chat. I'm trying, it's magic. That's the Arctic. What What's the dome for? Is that the, but we're still, well, yeah. I don't, okay. I, 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 okay, I'm sure I'll be A theory that suggests that NASA, okay. world governments, sure. airlines. Right. And basically <laughs> anyone in the Airline shuts the thing. The field of navigation <laughs> right been lying to us about the shape of the planet for the last few decades i agree i'm also a flat is earther it yeah it, i'm a flat earther for the rest of the stream the earth is an ice dome with a side of the dome water no has modern technology failed us yes or are scientists hiding the truth yes both is there a massive dome covering the planet wait no wait the ice wall it is the ice wall since flat earthers are also climate deniers i told you it's a circle the venn diagram is a circle dead ass i told you did the notorious big know something we didn't? Probably, but it was more, it was probably mostly CIA related. May he rest. Modern flat Earth societies worldwide have been asking similar questions sure. for quite some time, and governments are terrified with the progress they're making. True. Their main beliefs are the following. All right, all right. I'm a flat earther. The whole the rest of the, the rest of this video. I'm a flat earther. This is what I believe without a doubt. This is what I said a podcast. I've heard someone I know does do. Oh my god. Here we go. Right, write, write this down. Chat, write this down. The Earth is flat. Agreed. Completely agreed. Under a dome. And Wait, like a literal dome? Or like a... <laughs> is it a, is it a literal, is it a literal dome? Or is it like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, yes, like a literal, like, like God made the earth flat and much like a main dish, he covered us. I respect that. Okay. Okay. I'm following you. And surrounded by a giant wall of ice. I agree with all these things. That's fair. Also, some believe that space is a complete lie. I agree. Crafted by a man on Photoshop. The Wait. sun and the moon. Is <laughs> that real? <laughs> Why? Like, <laughs> the question you have to ask. Okay. The question you have to ask with a lot of these insane, sorry, completely valid takes like Flat Earth is why would anyone lie about it? Like, why is the government keeping you from the truth of a flat earth? What, what is the world Illuminati have to gain at all? Be because, right, like what, what, for, for what, do, what do they gain? What is the end goal of them, right? There's nothing. You could argue like, the only argument you could make 
is the Illuminati is worshippers of the devil from the Bible or whatever. And if you make the masses think you're so small in the universe, you don't matter, then you can ruin the Lord God of Christianity's influence on the world by devolving their faith. That's I, I'm trying, chat. I'm really trying here. There's no there's no in game to tell to hide this from the world. Two small lights hovering over the earth within. Wait, the is that exactly the argument? That's I'm too good at this. I'm actually too good at being a flat earther. <laughs> Gravity isn't a thing. Right. Fake news, folks. Fake news, folks. The entirety of Australia. Wait, that's literally said the pod? Oh my. Oh! Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to move the mic. Actually exist. Yo! Wait, that. Wait, wait. Sorry. I all. Oh, listen, I also don't believe in Australia. That. Australia does not exist. You heard it from me first, actually. I, I was saying that before Flat Earthers would say that, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> All of this because they can't see a curve on the horizon. True. You better kneel down True. and pray to Jimmy with me right freaking now. Our arguments are strong. Arguments are strong. Agreed. And they're only getting stronger. Hell yeah. As in the last few years, they've assembled a crack team of scientists. There's there's no way any of these other scientists. <gasps> Shut up, Sucky. There's no way anyone here is a scientist. Solely devoted to finding evidence for their theory. No. They're not quite there yet. Behind the curve ending, the Flat Earthers just proved themselves. I, dude, my favorite thing. My favorite thing. <laughs> flat Earthers are proving themselves is my aesthetic. It what brings me joy in this world. It's the best. But they're getting damn close. Oh, we're almost there, Chad. Alongside the research division, there are the Flat Earth Conventions, where the most educated Flat Earth conspiracy theorists gather to hold intelligent and profound. Chat, I'm so serious. If I ran a donothon, hear me out. Could you guys help me go to one of these things? <gasps> Please. I want to go so bad. <laughs> I want to go so bad. I just want to learn, dude. On discussions on what's really going on in the shadows. And through the global reach of the internet, right, right. Flat Earth has spread far and wide. Good. Even to the point where people are actually building entire communities around the theory. Welcome to Flat Earth Friends. After working on the website for a month, it's time to go live. Hell yeah. Your own profile. Yes. Dynamic webpage. Sure. Find other Flat Earthers from a closet plane. Communicate with other people through private messages. Make This is just a chat room? You can definitely laugh at you hard. I would be such a good boy. I'd be like, I, I'm a, I, would, I would wear a hat that says Flat Earth is... For the gays, I right? Know, I have to use the gays, right? So I'm already implying that I'm A, a flat earther, and B, not one of the gays. Then I would wear a shirt that says, hmm, if, if believe in round, then I frown. Now, it doesn't really rhyme, but it's, I think it's pretty good to kind of get my point across. Um, don't be, don't be, yeah, don't be a, just that's what that calls them gay. Wait, does it? Hold on. The Mexican no crow! An ice wall hat? That's it. We got it. Ice wall hat? Like the Burger King crown. We nailed it. We nailed it. Flat Earth music. Flat Earth Wait, sorry? Sorry? I don't mean to keep pause this, gang, but this is... Hmm? Sorry, gang. One second. I had to do some research. Um, what? Under the Dome Earth Mixtape. What? Excuse me? What? what? Is this just... M. Accessible. <sighs> what? Keep skipping ahead, and it gets more and more confusing. Whoa, I got hard fast. This is awesome. Is this what they're talking about? Bro, let's go. I'm into it. It kind of went hard, actually, <laughs> a little bit there. The beginning was a little, uh, es like a little esoteric, but it, got, it kind of went hard towards the end. Music. Flat Earth merchandise. I want it. I want it. I want 20 bucks. I want it. Even Flat Earth dating sites. 
You can't tell me that and me not go. Come on, man. You can't tell me that and me not want to go check that site out. Come on, bro. Come on, man. You can't show me this. Naturally, the whole thing has also led to a lot of memes and trolling. No. But with thousands of members, I love the end it. goal to have Flat Earth taught in schools. Uh, the really? Flat Earthers aren't playing around. I literally don't. <sighs> a deep dive. I literally don't. I feel like I have to cry. That's a deeply upsetting. Remember, let's say 2,000 people go to this convention. That is like 30,000 less than like Comic Con. That's like 100,000 less than Comic Con. These people are, are just. They're either grifters or they're completely lost. No in between. Alexander, this is the flat earth conspiracy. Dover, the United Kingdom. I don't know that! Oh no. There's a guy in town called Samuel Shenton. Wait, 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 wait. This is the UK's fault? No. I like to think some people pretend that they are flat earthers and defend the flat earth theory in okay. the most frustrating and outrageous ways possible in hopes someone will buy them a ticket. On a commercial space flight, one that's not bad. It's become somewhat affordable. That's not. That's not bad. That's not, that. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. That's smart. <laughs> that's smart. And he thinks the world is flat. Oh. After creating his own cosmology, he said Congratulations, something. Congratulations, Papa. What's that? You know, have a fallback in case Mari ever kicks you to the curb. Mm -hmm. You can have a flat relationship true, true. with your dream plane. Can't wait. What a romantic space. Can't wait. It was the British! The National Flat Earth Research Society in 1956 and okay. start spreading the word. <laughs> Whoa. Now, the Flat Earth Society isn't actually the first of its kind. Okay. In fact, it's heavily inspired by another Flat Earth Society founded in England in the late 1800s. Dude, England, can you guys chill? Like, I'm not trying to say everything bad in the world's y'all's fault, but you guys got to relax. Can you guys, like, just England, relax. But with less of a religious focus, okay. these guys were going to prove the earth was flat with science. Oh, sick! Clinton would spend the next few years lecturing his theory to political groups and youth clubs. Sure. However... For some reason, his ideas struggled to catch on. What? When no. Shenton died in 1972, <gasps> no. the society would come under new leadership. Who? A bloke called Charles Johnson. Charles Johnson? This dude looks like a cult leader. <laughs> I'm dead serious. The membership of the Flat Earth Society would rise to around 3,000 under Johnson's Woo! leadership. Okay, Johnson. But began to decline in the late 90s no. after a fire at his house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this man looks like Waterbed Crowns. He dies. Oh, beans. And Flat Earth began to fizzle out. No! No, 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 come back! That I was <gasps> until the internet came around. Hell yeah. A Hell digital yeah. revolution. Hell yeah. Arguably the most monumental piece yeah! of technology ever invented. In with it came new forms of communication, universal access to data, sure. and the development of cutting edge technology. Hell yes. Wait. Tay AI? Oh, God. Of course, it wasn't all good. I just had a visceral reaction. <laughs> I, I just, I felt my entire body go into itself. And this is the reason I think TikTok should be burned to the ground. Um, okay. I just burned TikTok. Ever heard of Mike Hughes? Yes, he I have. I have. Flat, yes. Flat earther that died in his homemade rocket. Mm -hmm. Yep. But with this flood of new communication <laughs> came new means to spread information. Right. Instead of traditional network television, which was constantly under producer supervision, yep. anyone with a laptop could shoot a video, upload it, and have it streamed directly onto someone else's. Thank computer. God. Thank God. It didn't matter how well researched what you. <laughs> this is my favorite meme. <laughs> to come out of the Trump era is him excitedly showing off like just shitty drawings. It's my favorite me. <laughs> the saying was, Giddy. as long as it made for a good 30 minute watch before bed, True. you were golden. True. And so early YouTube was massive for spreading some of the more far reaching conspiracy theories and YouTube's algorithm actually pushed you towards them. Flat Earth, Retellian Elites, uh, Satanic Vampires, and what was the last one? There's like another one. Oh, gay frogs. Oh, I do believe in gay frogs. Yep. Yeah, gay frogs. Is, oh, hold on. 
Dude, it's still a banger this day. It's such a banger. Is this the one? Where's it at, dude? I want. Oh, here it is, dude. Where's it at? There it is. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the freaking frogs, frogs gay. Bow, bow, it's so good. Frogs, freaking frogs. Bow. It's mm. not funny. I'm going to say it real slow for you. Gay, gay frogs. frogs. Mm. Sorry, it's a banger. Um, where were we? Sorry. Towards them. <laughs> it was in this climate that the hey, Flat Earth is. Society relaunched online in Yay. 2009. And from there, it wasn't long before Flat Earth videos started to circulate. Yay, on this Flat Earth! YouTube, I wasn't done, sorry. Accumulating millions of views. Good. And luring more and more people in. Okay. Literally to the point where YouTube had promised to stop recommending fun. No! I hate YouTube, dude. They ruined everything for me. We've been finding out hundreds of thousands of other people. Uh, just, no, no, no. No, no gays in the real world. No to change how that algorithm works in order to curb the spread of them. But it was too late. Thousands joined. Hell yeah. Conventions sprung up. Yes. Books written. <gasps> articles uploaded. Where's the nearest convention to me? Flat Earth Convention. Upcoming. Um, ooh, there's one in Denver. It's not... Oh, that's from like years ago. Hmm. Damn. Songs produced. Tweets posted. Flat Earth blah, 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 the globe. <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry. Just tweets posted. F Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe. That's the oh my god, that's so powerful. That's so powerful. What a good sentence. It's such a good sentence. It's everything. Say it again slowly. It's such a good sentence. Oh my god. It's so good. It was everywhere. True. True. We have members everywhere, chat. Quickly before we move on. <gasps> did you know that private browsing is an ethical reaction uh, with uh, under reaction content? Let's watch a, this ad that's like three years old now, but whatever. That private. Oh. A shocking revelation, I'm sure. True. But that's not all. <gasps> if you're on a public network that's not secure, I'm never on, on a, the same I'm network. I'm never on a public network, by the way. Never. You can snoop in and Here you go, chat. While, while we're waiting, and there that's you go. not ideal when you're using <laughs> while your we're waiting. Card, passwords, or are up to any True. questionable activities. Whoa. Now hey, hey, yo. He needs. Oh, he's drinking. What's that? <gasps> okay. Nord is is Nord even good? Data at the source, making it more difficult to <gasps> Hi, Lucas. Is Nord even good? Just hit a country, and you'll be more secure in seconds. Now, instead of stealing your credit card details, mm -hmm. that hack is at work. Nord is terrible. Yeah, I haven't heard a Nord commercial in the past, like, four years. Like, they just stopped. So, access to Netflix's lineups in different countries. Uh -huh. And no more spying from your internet service provider. Good, good. No speed limit. Sure. No log policy. Sure. And if you don't like it, <gasps> there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Sick. They have a day leak as well. GPS, That's pretty awesome. Discount That's pretty great. In the description. That's $3.49 a month. Woo! That's a month free. Sure. That it? Okay. Now that that now that that's over. Yeah, this is a, like this is like a um like a four year old ad. So I'm not even sure he has the, the thing anymore. I want to be as a sponsor of a YouTuber ever. Get the uh, uh, PIA that allowed you. Yeah, I don't love the fact that they were super sponsored, but whatever. It's good for accessing uh regional lock stuff, but like does it make mean you're more secure? Oh no, of course not. Not a little bit. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now flat earth pulls in a few kinds of people. First, there were Say it. Don't watch your mouth. I'm a big flat earther. The people who believe that the few lines in the Bible alluding to a flat earth should be taken literally. And then there were the conspiracy theorists who get roped in from the jungle of other conspiracy theories online. I'm, I'm number two. I, I'm number two. And although they're all under the same flag, I'm number two. they don't all agree with each other. What? For instance, not everyone believes in the dome. Uh, is the dome, okay, is the dome the atmosphere or the literal, it's a literal dome put on the earth? This is important to me, a flat earther, um, who is I loving flat earth. I love flat earth, yada, yada, yada. So flat, so love it, very round. Um, I don't get if it's a literal dome or not. Like it's a cookie jar. I don't understand what they want. It's a literal dome. I hate it. I hate that idea. I hate it so much. I don't like that at all. Uh, it's a little dull, but we want I'm happy to present to you okay. my first and only belief in this world. 
flat fishing theme. Okay. The fishing mini game is flat, and you can't deny it. All right, there it is. You can have one fish. Go ahead, pull in the fish. What do you got? What'd you get? Success? What'd you get? You got a chicken nuggie! Woo! <laughs> it's the soggiest nuggie you'll ever eat in your life. Some believe that the planet just keeps going on forever. Oh, Some that's fine. Some also believe that the Earth is motionless. While you know, I you know what I do like the planet's infinite because then I can go explore some more shit. You know what I'm saying? That'd be fun. The exploration's never done. That'd be cool. Others believe it's constantly moving upwards. Oh, wait, upwards so to what? So as well as the arguments with globe tards, there's ah. also quite a lot of bickering with each other. Ah, the society has also had some critics. Go on. Most notably, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. I don't like this guy, man. Really, I thought he's, uh, is round capitalism. People would be able to keep this a secret and not earn money. True. <laughs> Nightmare. I don't, I don't like this guy a whole lot. He feels like if Bill Nye was trying too hard. I don't know. I don't care for I heard, the, I heard there's a Beyblade. Yeah! Alongside pretty much every other scientist on the planet. Right. But it didn't matter. No, of course not. The I don't flat care. The Earth has had B.O.B. A rapper that no one had heard about in around <laughs> 10 years. Jeez, man. Yo, Big Boss, <laughs> what did B.O.B. do to you? God damn. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Inevitably, an online dispute between DeGrasse Tyson and B.O.B. sprung up in early 2016. Okay. It started out with a few tweets. The seeds of the background are approximately 60 miles apart. Where is the curve? Please explain this. That's a good point, chat. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a really good point. All right, sick, sick, sick. I'll be all turned off by the phrase flat earth. There's no way you can see the evidence and not know. Grow up. True. True, B.O.B. DeGrasse Tyson sees what B.O.B. is posting on Twitter and immediately steps in the ring. Why? The Why? following back and forth. Oh, my God. You never know. So you know, you know, oh, my God. Even his tweets read like a dork. Flat earth is a problem where people enough. charge the way that no loss. Shut up. Full headed. But it doesn't stay that way for long. The very next day, Got you go. drops a flat earth diss track on Neil deGrasse Tyson. Have you heard of glowy moon shrimp? No. Shrimp migration is how the phases of the moon happen, apparently. That's awesome. Also, can I hear this track, please? Thank you. Instantly proving all of his points wrong. Here we go. Please. Neil swings back. What? With a diss track of his own. B -O -B I gotta listen to a little bit of, I gotta listen to, what the f, I gotta listen to one of these. B O B this track. Can I hear this please? Thank you. Please. Please. Oh my God. No one's heard of B O B on God dang YouTube. Wait, it's called Flatline. Oh my God. Wait, oh, dude, I can't find it. Oh my God. Can I hear Neil deGrasse? Wait, Neil deGrasse Tyson diss track. Hold on. Can I hear this one, please? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Flat to fact featuring Neil DeChrist. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, I'm Flat Earth is a- <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was- <laughs> Modern day Tupac chat. All right, Neil, take it away. Problem only when people in charge think that way. Oh yeah, here we go, dude. Hit with no it. Oh my god. Regressively basking in it. Oh dude, hit with it. He learned the game from Carl Sagan. You can never check him. Dude, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's you say the earth is flat and then you try to disrespect them. True. I'm bringing facts to combat a silly theory because B.O.B. has got to know the planet is a sphere. G. Whoa. Very important that I clear this up. Oh my God. It's so good. It's great. Can I hear, can I hear Neil in this, please? <laughs> can I hear, can I hear Neil? And then another Bobby Ray and, and more reasons. Conspiracy question with Are any of these Neil? This. Okay. Back. Bars. That is fact. Yeah, but we'll go from flat to fact. Wait, I don't want it. Where's Neil? Tell him again, and we'll put you on the show. Oh, he's just, he's just in the background. Okay, got it. So he's really just being featured. Dude, that was bars. Yeah, good point, chat. That was really good. Wow, that that ruled. I had enough. 
he was going to prove his point. Okay. In 2017, well, he sets up a $1 million GoFundMe to launch a satellite into the sky and settle it once and for all. You can't just do that, right? Like, you can't just launch a satellite into the sky. Right? Like, legally, you can't just do that. I'm pretty... You could? Hmm. However, it doesn't quite reach its goal. No! Oh, 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 oh. Damn! You could? All right, weird. Not much has happened since. With my politics? Fair, fair, fair. Okay. Okay. So, potentially millions of people have been roped into the viewpoint that the Earth's flat. I'm one of those people. I, the Earth is flat. Um, water stops, I guess, at the ice shelf or whatever the hell. And there's a dome. I agree with all these things. But what True, call true, true, Volpe. All right, here we go. Here we go. I believe all these are the way. I believe all these. Here we go. The flat earthers' discoveries are incredible. I'm out of words. Large groups of the middle of the ocean, and where's the curve? Oh, it's just the curve shit in there. Their arguments proving too logical for scientists themselves. True. Uh, how Australia is fake. Okay, I actually. Wait, that's true, though. <laughs> However, there are a few issues with a few of their points. Go ahead. At the base of the society, the Flat Earth model. This is what the entire movement revolves around. Completely agree with the model. I love it. There are a few different versions. Go on. But they all share the same oh, No, I agree. I agree. Aspects. I agree. They're flat yep. and surrounded by a wall of ice. I concur. Here are the problems with that. No, none. To get to this model, they've had to stretch countries out. Literally to the point where they're actually no longer proportional. How do you know that I ate that, though? Hmm? Then the world's ice wall is guarded by my, uh, my armed military. I, I literally don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm completely ch chonky Africa. Oh my God. Also, when put into practice, mm -hmm. countries on this map. You spelled practice wrong. Also, when put into practice. You spelled. You spelled. Pra <laughs> Actually. Practice. Countries on this map are much farther apart than they are in reality. Sure. For instance, here is a direct flight from Sydney, Australia to Santiago, Chile. Well, Australia's not real. Again. <laughs> Just saying. Listen, you're already you're already doing wrong math. Australia's literally not real, according to me, the flat earther in the stream. Approximately a seven. The flat on the road for It is twenty-seven. Oh. Is a twelve-hour flight. Okay. However, <gasps> if the world looks like this, right, you're looking at a distance of around seventeen thousand miles. Uh, again, Australia's not real. And that's going to take a lot longer than 12 hours. It's not real, though! In fact, the plane would have to travel at almost twice the speed of sound. <laughs> that's right! That's why- is that- I mean, is that the real reason why they think Australia's fake? Flat Earth lore is way cooler than usually- uh, kind of light. My old brother used to read them. I said, that's- that's- I don't think Flat Earth lore is all that cool, but I- I- I, I know. Earth is response to this? Can't I put your flights oh. don't exist. Wait, what? The airlines are in on it. And what? the flights are simply unable to be booked, or always cancelled a few days before. What? To go to Australia? Huh. Did you know that there are 31 people? I did. The Madagascar's packed. Also, huh. The multiple videos of people getting on these flights on right. YouTube are yet to be addressed. What? Now let's take a look at who's actually in on it. Why are we disproving Australia? I don't... Why? Uh, sure. Turns out, it's a lot of people. Yeah, okay. Anyone with a reasonable knowledge of circumnavigation, <laughs> governments worldwide, <laughs> Right. Scientists worldwide. So governments, people that know how the world work, and scientists, okay. NASA and yep. the United Nations. Sure, that tracks. It's even in their logo. Big boss, I hate you so much, dude. And all of NASA's footage? <laughs> right. CGI. <laughs> in fact, Sick. Flat Earth is reckoned that NASA was actually created to hide the real shape of the Earth in the first place. That's and literally a point. Stop it. No, it's not. Stop it. Don't. You're wrong. You're wrong. I, I refuse to. But listen, I can get behind the dome, the ice walls, the entire world's out to lie. But the UN logo being a flat earth, that's where I draw. the. But why? There's I, that's the problem. I, I literally can't point to a reason why we flat earthers, because um, I'm totally one, believe in this. This makes I. I have you, yeah, have you been to NASA chat? Mm, check me. Spending billions of dollars a year, all in an effort to cloak the fact that we're living under a dome. But I don't get the dome! Make it make sense! Okay. Sure. So how do they explain ships disappearing over the horizon bottom? Well, that's because... 
Um. Um. CGI? First. Pete. If the sun and the moon look like this, right. how come solar eclipses exist? <laughs> Go on. It's a shadow object that orbits the sun. <laughs> Aaron, I don't... I don't know how y'all missed this. Hey, I don't... Hey, I might have to make a disclaimer real quick because apparently some of my chatters missed this. When I say I'm a flat earther, it's a joke. <laughs> I don't know how you missed this, but I don't believe in this shit. Also, this is a crazy... Okay, I agree. Okay. No, I agree. Their arguments are convincing. I agree. But some members of the Flat Earth Society still weren't content. Oh, sir. So they thought they'd conduct some research of their own. Show me the water test, please. I want to... There's a water test that, like, proves you get, like, a glass of water and you put, like, a ball in it or something like that. And then it's, like, there's no curve in the glass. Some... Cur I, I don't... It's, it makes me have a stroke. I forget it. Um. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, please, please, here we go, please, please hit the water thing. Okay, rockets. It's 2017. Oh, no, it's this guy! Surfer Mike Hughes looks up at the <laughs> Speaking of Mike Hughes! He doesn't believe the lies and wants to see the so-called curvature <laughs> right. of the Earth with his very own eyes. Mm -hmm. So he plans to build a homemade rocket. Here he is, so. here's the, the guy. He 20, yeah, endless, literally him. Dollars. Okay. He crowdfunds $8,000 and gets to work on building the rocket. Wait, from After paper, months of from assembly, paper mache? Wait, what's this thing look like? Around. How is it, how is he gonna ride it? I genuinely don't, what was his plan? To literally ride it like, the, like a cowboy? But at the very last minute, the Bureau of Land Management tell him he's on public land and not allowed to launch. True. A few months later, he's ready to launch again. Okay. And this time, he's no longer on public land. However, the rocket doesn't actually work. Quite lucky for Hughes. Does Hughes have any background in this? Or is, was, he just, was he just a guy? The end. Like... He was just, nope. What if there's ever go after Elon? I don't know. Probably just a guy. Considering his team forgot to arm the main parachute of the rocket. But on oh. the 26th of March, okay, okay, okay. he's ready to launch for a third Here we go, here time. we go, here we go. And it finally happens. He Wait, soars it? almost 2,000 feet into Damn. the sky. It's pretty impressive. Before coming back down to Earth. Oh. A successful launch, but not quite high enough to see the curvature of the planet. That's pretty... It's actually kind of impressive. By yourself? 2008, nothing to sneeze at. That's pretty impressive. You know, good for him. For that, he would have needed to reach a height of 35,000 feet. Ooh, That's really? Earth. Not proven. Right. However, yeah, a bit of waste potential, yeah. Story than that. Oh. If Hughes had actually wanted to see the curvature of the Earth, all he had to do was fork out $200 for a ride on a commercial airline. No, they're, they're in on it. They're in on it. Stop. They're literally in on it. it generally reaches at least 30,000 feet. In on it. That's a lot cheaper than building a $20,000 make. No, they're rocket. in on it! It's all it TV also screens! It turns out that Hughes is actually a daredevil and has been launching rockets for quite some time. Oh, wow. Dating isn't rocket science. HUDapp.com. Okay, that's... Uh, sure. He launched a rocket reaching 1,500 feet in Damn. 2014. Wow! He set up a fundraiser for a launch in 2016. Asking okay. for $150,000. He died? I don't know. That must yeah. more than three hundred. <laughs> Hi, However, Barry. How are you? suddenly declaring himself a flat earther in 2017. That there's no way. Was it? Wait, wait, wait. Stop. There's no way he painted that on his rocket. Is that like, did they add that in post? Or is that actually what his rocket said? That's crazy. Doing well? Hey, yo, let's go. Nah, there's no way, bro. Hughes managed to crowdfund almost $10,000. God, why? So I don't think it's reaching to say that Mike Hughes actually just used Flat Earth as a means to fund his rocket career. Fair. <laughs> Tragically, Mike yep. Hughes passed away early this year. Yes. After an early deployment of a parachute during his latest rocket launch. Yep. This one I know, you shine a laser in a straight line and it disproves the curvature. But I'm pretty sure the Netflix show proved that this actually had a curve or something like that, which I think is really funny. Yep. Back again to 2018. Right. And a group of flat earthers decide to test their theory. Right. Okay. So these so-called scientists are telling us that the earth is spinning three years. They're not, a, they're not scientists, right? They're just dudes, right? They're just dudes. They're not scientists, right? 160 degrees a day. Just guys? So got it, got it, got it. 15 degrees These knuckleheads? I don't... Okay. We'll see about that. Oh, here we go. 
One of them spends $20,000 on a ring laser gyroscope. Holy sh- where the f- do you even buy that, bro? <laughs> like, I'm here for it, I guess, but for the science or whatever, but where do you even get that shit, dude? <laughs> A device so that scientists, they're scientists the lie. The Got him. Of the planet. They then leave it up for an hour. What? It the measures 15 degrees. Yeah, it works. That's how it works. A full day, 15 degrees. It's little. You literally spent 20 grand on to prove a point. That measurement didn't count, of course. Oh. Because the gyroscope was supposedly picking up heavenly energies from the sky. Mm. True, 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 true. <laughs> you, you gotta, hey. You gotta, you gotta, listen. You gotta take into account my boy, J-Man. All right? All right. So they then put it in a zero gorse chamber. Good God. Where are they getting this money? They wait one hour. Sure. And Still 15 degrees. That can't be right. Why is that? Flat Earth. Still not proven. Hmm. That's it. Okay, that's okay. Is this the one where they shine the lasers across a lake or whatever? In the same year, another group of yeah, there, get to work. there it is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so one guy used our movement to crowdfund yep. his rocket hobby. Yep. Another guy wasted twenty thousand dollars on a piece of navigational equipment right. that proved us wrong. Right, 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 right. But don't worry. This time, chat. Why are they taking away the Earth's bombastic thick curves? Like, why do you not? Want a Magia thick goth earthy? <laughs> don't call it. Don't call. Okay. Never refer to Earth as a mega thick goth earthy ever again. Time to go a bit cheaper. <laughs> okay. This experiment would require only three boards and a 3000 milliwatt laser. Easy. Okay. The basic idea was that they'd have three boards placed evenly along a 3.88 mile stretch through what? the Victoria Canal. Sure. They'd then shoot the laser from one end to the other and then track where it passed on each board following you and if it was at the same point across all three the earth was flat but what if the laser passed a lower point on the middle post <laughs> the earth was round why is it so stupid <laughs> get rid of this not a moronic theories as sad because some people have their uh attack drive to tell this. can you imagine the things we could discover if the jackasses actually apply themselves to actual science yes but yet here we are however when they actually tested it out yeah the laser beam expanded over the canal and shone onto the entire final board mm. making it impossible to tell what point it was hitting damn another failure a fu wait what a flashlight what all right boys one final test what? this was basically another attempt at the last test right but with a few key differences go on this one involved only two boards this is yeah this is literally like a, a side yeah first this Camera one this one a flashlight okay they cut out holes 14 feet up the boards what? and posted them along the same stretch of the canal Wait, what? If the camera on the other end of the flashlight picked up any lights through the holes, the earth was flat. Sure. But if the camera picked up no light, the earth was round. <laughs> oh, they're so stupid. The camera didn't pick up any light. <laughs> so, so far, not much has worked out. No! However, the Flat Earth Society are currently setting up plans for a Flat Earth cruise. Please. This is my calling. Put me on that cruise. I beg you. Set to sail to the Great Ice Wall within the next two years. What? Where the Flat Earthers will finally be able to gaze upon the Great Barrier keeping us I all caged in. Uh with their very own eyes. I need- I- What they'll say when they realize it's not actually a wall, nobody can say. I but for now, the Earth is undeniably flat yep. to potentially millions of people. Hold on. Flat Earth Cruise. Please, please, please. All aboard the Flat Earth Cruise. Uh, this is 2019. Damn. 2024? There's no way. Please, 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 please. Please! Wait. Sailing out to Miami, Florida, March 18th. <gasps> wait. No! Oh, wait. Never mind. No, this one's called Cruise the Edge. It's not actually about Flat Earth. Damn it. Are any of these, like, actually... Chat, I don't think we're gonna... Guys, we gotta fund this. Chat, we gotta fund the Flat Earth Cruise. I'll say it. We gotta do it. <laughs> for, for, for disclaimer's sake, because I feel like maybe it was lost on you guys. 
Flat Earth is such a goofy, stupid, so it, of the conspiracies, this is the lamest one. I would be sooner to believe that the government were hyper intelligent lizard people from the below the earth than I would to believe in flat earth. It is just so lame. There's no, there's nothing that the flat earth movement. Did I put your board plan? I'm sorry. I did. I do apologize. There's nothing about the flat earth movement that is interesting to me. They're not accomplishing any goal. There's no reason for this lie to exist. It's just boring.